when we are talking about star or delta connection then we are talking about three phase supply these are r y p to make a star connection we need to connect all the three phases red phase yellow phase and blue phase at one point we call that point neutral in case of a delta connection we need to connect one phase to another phase creating a delta shape the r phase red and yellow and blue one thing need to remember never ever connect one phase to another directly what i mean is if this is your red phase and this is your yellow phase never ever connect these two phase directly at one point why it's because if you connect one phase to another directly without having some load between them it can cause a short circuit between them in our case the load is the winding of the stator that are represented by a b and c similarly here a p and c Since we are going to feed three phase supply to the stator, it is necessary the stator have three different winding for each phase. Let's call them A, B and C winding. If this point is the entry point for the current, we are going to call it A1, similarly B1 and C1. And for the exit part, we are going to call it A2, B2 and C2. So the terminals of the motor are going to align like this. You cannot see the windings in actual motor. In some case, the motor connections are similarly parallel to each other A1 to A2, B1 to B2 and C1 to C2. Now let's discuss about the connection. First, let's connect all the main connections for the stator. Sorry, the starter. As you can see, there is a main contactor, a delta contactor, and a star contactor. In between, I have motor terminals. The main contactor is always fed directly three phase into it R, Y and P remember the, the contactors are never going to work unless their electromagnets are being energized so even when we have our main connections contactors will not activate we will discuss about we will discuss how you can activate the electromagnets 
in later part. Now, since the three phases are already been fed to the main contactor, let's supply them to the motor. The motor has six terminal as I said earlier as A1, B1, C1, A2, B2, C2. Now here is the main part. First we know that the motor is going to run in star connection. So let's do it. We know that to make a to make a star connection, we need to join all the three phases at one place. So let's join them. Easy, right? Now this is our star connection. But what about the delta? Now let's see how we can do that for delta. the wire needs to jump sorry my drawing is actually terrible now to make a delta connection we know that one phase need to connect the another phase as we can see the a1 is connected with r Therefore, here it is need to be connected with Y. Similarly, B is connected with Y. Therefore, it is needed to be connected with B. Similarly, B is connected with C. Therefore, here it is going to be connected with R. As you can see, the phase sequence changed a little bit from our earlier phase sequence now let's actually work on the stator itself as we know RYB are directly going to be fed to our main contactor uh, Y and B and we also know that our delta contactor also needed to be fed uh, Y B from our early drawing since here the sequence is a bit different but we are going to keep it like R Y B so it can be like this jump it R sorry y and b that is r y and b as of delta connection we know at the secondary part it is going to be short circuited so let's do that as well we'll take a single wire and we'll join all three of them together now the main contactor needs to feed RYB directly to our motor so R goes to A1 Y goes to B1 and B goes to C1 now remember one thing doesn't matter what phase sequence we feed here since all are going to be short circuit so it is necessary so the phase sequence only matter for our delta connection now, 
by taking a single wire first let's just don't go over to delta let's go first delta not star okay now we know let's go back earlier the a2 needs to be fed y let's do it a1 to y Uh, B2 needs mm, B2 needs B that is this one and C2 needs R okay we can do that right now let's revert it back a little so here it's a1 p1 c1 but here the sequence changed it is b2 c2 a1 these are actually the connections for the stator make sure remember that now we know for the del star connection all we need to do is to short circuit at all three phase so it doesn't matter which phase is fed to which phase but less to be consistent we can join them like this i'm sorry merge one is actually really really terrible well let's cover up our main connection for this star delta starter firstly let's discuss about the on and off switches of the stator starter actually the connection for them is quite easy we are only going to feed one phase to the on button and off button the thing about off button is it is actually a normally close button while with on is normally open switch the thing about on switch is that it is connected parallel to auxiliary switch which purpose is when the on switch is pressed once both switches are going to be activated simultaneously and as the, you will release the on switch the auxiliary switch will remain in contact and the on switch will get off bit confusing i know but that actually have. but how we're going to connect them let us we take a r phase red phase and then we're directly going to connect it to the off button now we know that the on button needs a auxiliary switch which we are going to create by the normally open switch which is provided in the main contactor now have a look up. the off switch is connected to the on switch which is connected to the normally closed switch of delta and then it is connected to normally open switch of star which is connected to the normally open of main and then the circuit is closed between normally closed delta and normally open star we are going to put our timer in between as i was saying earlier in the video that we need to put something here to make the connection switch between star and delta the timer is going to do going to do that for us now from here from here the timer from here we are going to connect our timer and the timer is going to connect our y coil 
and then it is going to directly fed to the wifers now you must be wondering where the hell our delta coil and male coil go well we'll discuss about them in a minute about the delta coil um, the electromagnet coil actually it is connected through a timer parallel to our delta coil oh sorry star coil and then fed to the wi-fi again but in all this mess our main coil is always connected parallel to both star and to our delta coil now which is actually quite difficult to understand right now but if when you look at the figure which i will provide at the end of the video you can actually see them connecting together not creating any short circuit but they are in parallel with the both delta coil delta electromagnet and star electromagnet 